Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, with instant analysis of Florida State quarterback DeAndre Francois' misdemeanor for marijuana possession of less than 20 grams, the incident taking place on Thursday night in Tallahassee. Florida State head coach Willie Taggart has come out with the generic uh, coach's response to this type of situation. Of course, they have yet to investigate it fully. You can't expect any more than the typical, this will be handled internally, was the quote. Francois was not expected to play in Saturday's spring game. He uh, has been playing with the twos. It's been reported most of spring camp with James Blackman, the freshman who uh, led the team for the majority of 2017 playing with the ones. Uh, Of course, Francois tore up his knee in the opener against Alabama last season, only played that uh, about three quarters of a game, 19 of 33 against the Tide with two interceptions, one touchdown pass, 210 yards passing. In terms of his off-field conduct, the other mark against him would be back in January, a domestic violence incident investigated. Nothing occurred, nothing was charged. Differing stories, certainly between he and his pregnant girlfriend. Francois impressed me in 2016 as the ACC Rookie of the Year behind a marginal offensive line, certainly not up to Florida State standards, but definitely up to recent Florida State standards. Uh, He was thrown around like a rag doll most of the season. He came out in impressive fashion, uh, down three scores to Ole Miss in the opener. He led the Knowles to a dramatic comeback victory, dominated the second half with 419 yards passing on 33 of 52 against a really good Ole Miss team in 2016, or what appeared to be a really good Ole Miss team uh, at that point. Finished the season hitting 59% of his passes, threw for almost 3,400 yards, 20 touchdowns, seven interceptions. He had the five rushing touchdowns, not a huge rushing threat, but he's mobile, he's athletic, he can get out of the pocket, not a guy that's looking to run, definitely a pocket passer, a thrower, who can throw very well on the run. If you look at the losses in 2016, Francois' performance as he battles James Blackman for the starting job here this fall, they had the Louisville debacle on the road in which the defense was awful, and uh, Uh, The Florida State offense was awful as well. They gave up 63 points. They only scored 21. It was over at halftime. It was quickly like 49-7. to He only hit on 7 of 18 passes and was pulled from the game. Uh, Against North Carolina in a loss in which North Carolina drove the field, kicked the game-winning field goal, he hit on 372 yards passing, a game that he put up 35 points in losing uh, a shootout. So, credit him there. He didn't necessarily lose that game against a good North Carolina team. And then the Clemson game, the annual showdown, he played sporadically, 17 of 35 for 286, a touchdown and a pick in a pretty close loss to Clemson, but a game in which they uh, lost in the fourth quarter. Uh, He played great in the clutch against Michigan in the Orange Bowl and pulling out of win and, and, uh, hitting on some huge passes down the stretch, but most of the game he was erratic and the offensive line again could not protect him. So much of this, not his fault, but 9 of 27 against the Wolverines with uh, 222 yards passing, two touchdowns, and one interception. He impressed me with his toughness. He was the 2016 ACC Rookie of the Year. He got off the deck. He led comeback victories. He took on the top opponents like a Clemson, played well, and lost tough football games. If you compare that to James Blackman, also even more so than Francois because he was not prepared as the starter and had to take over after the Alabama game, Uh, James Blackman impressed me just with his toughness and resilience and and inability to get better and improve throughout the season. He didn't light it up. 58% passer, 19 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, too many thrown to the other guys and two sporadic of efforts against the likes of Boston College, 11 of 26. The Clemson game, 13 of 32, and he threw a bad, horrible overthrow down the seam, went to the wrong guy, in which Florida State was in a position to uh, score the winning points uh, with about four minutes left and had the ball at midfield, and he overthrew the receiver after Florida State's defense turned the ball over to the offense and gave up the game. Yes, he looked frail, but he got up time and time again after taking a big hit. And I would think 
based on the strength and conditioning program that James Blackman is more physically prepared as well as mentally and just from a preparation standpoint in terms of running the offense and looking at the film day after day after day, running with the ones, preparing in the film room, hitting the weights, that he's much much better prepared in 2018. So a lot of people, because of Francois' big 2016 and starting against Alabama and Blackman's marginal performance as a freshman, thought Francois was going to take this job over. I'm not so sure. And with this incident possibly turning into a one-game suspension against not a lightweight to start the season, but against Virginia Tech, a conference game, an important game against a quality top 25 type opponent that maybe James Blackman goes out there win or lose and he plays competently and he keeps the job. If Francois, number one, if Blackman doesn't just flat out beat him out for the job and number two, even if Francois would win the job if he gets a one game suspension and it's an important game in the ACC against Virginia Tech, and Blackman plays well. He keeps the job. He keeps his nose clean, and Willie Tagger doesn't have to worry about him from that standpoint. Maybe James Blackman is the quarterback for Florida State here in 2018. They've got Samford in Week 2, and then they go to Syracuse in Week 3. So it's Francois versus Blackman, but of course, Blackman is running with the ones. He's going to play in the spring game. He's going to start August camp. Uh, as a guy that doesn't have anything on his record, while this situation with Francois has to get cleaned up, and so I believe James Blackman uh, is in good shape to win the Florida State starting quarterback position. Would love to hear from you. Remember, Mark Rogers TV, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for the very best in college football coverage, because we are the voice of college football.